often after a mild traumatic brain injury, people experience symptoms for a few weeks and then get back to normal. But that is not always the case. I'm Dr. Judy Gooch. I'm a rehabilitation doctor, and I'm gonna to talk to you about Amy, who had a mild traumatic brain injury. Amy was driving her car to Yellowstone National Park when she was hit by a truck. Her car rolled a few times and then crashed into a cement barrier. Amy was belted and her airbags deployed. She lost consciousness for a few minutes. She was taken to a local hospital. They checked her out. Her head CT was normal. There were no bleeds. The doctor said that she would be fine and released her. So Amy worked as a nurse at the hospital. She took a couple of weeks off, but then she returned to work. And she found that she couldn't concentrate like she previously could. She could no longer multitask, and she had headaches every day. She was also super fatigued. Before the accident, Amy was highly energetic, and now she could barely make it through a work week. After work, she would go home and pretty much just sit on the couch. She went to see her primary care doctor, who said that she'd be fine in a few more weeks. Well, weeks went by and Amy still was not feeling better, and she started to get really anxious. Finally, after about six months, Amy discovered something called cognitive therapy. Cognitive therapists often work with people after brain injury, mild, severe. They help improve their thinking and their ability to work and function on a day-to-day -day basis. The therapist told Amy that her concussion was a form of mild traumatic brain injury and that she could give her strategies to help her improve. Amy learned first and foremost to take brain breaks. That is to give her brain a rest for a few minutes almost every hour, but for sure every two hours. For five minutes, she would find a quiet place to rest. This allowed her brain to settle, to regroup. For a while, Amy cut back and worked for a bit. She worked one less day a week, and this helped lower her fatigue. As she began to regain her energy, she returned to full time. She started to exercise again. Her therapist told her about the power of exercise to help the brain heal. Amy improved but she continued to struggle with her memory. She learned to write things down to help her. Her therapist showed her how to find a good planner system, how to organize her notes so that she remember important tasks and use a check-in system to keep her on task. So Amy's head injury may have been classified as mild, but a mild brain injury can have big consequences in someone's life. These symptoms certainly don't feel mild to people who experience them for a long time. Amy is much better, but she still feels like there's kind of a headwind in her life. She continues to have to use these strategies to help her. So treatment by a cognitive therapist can make life much better even after a mild traumatic brain injury.